Hi, welcome to OnRail tutorial on MATLAB and Simlink from JCBRO Labs. In this video, we will simulate amplitude modulation using Simulink in MATLAB. So, open MATLAB. Through MATLAB, we will open Simulink by typing the command Simulink. It will open a new up, new window. We will create a new model and we will save it by the name of amplitude am before simulating amplitude modulation uh, let's have a relook uh, to the equation of the amplitude modulation and then we will uh, create the complete model step by step so this is the equation of the amplitude modulation where fc is the carrier frequency and fm is the modulator frequency and where xt is the message signal and where na is the modulation index and st is the amplitude modulation so it is 1 plus modulation index time message signal into carrier frequency so if we taking uh, for our case for general case we are taking message signal as a sinusoid wave which is uh, having a lesser frequency than that of the carrier frequency so by this by this equation by this equation keeping in mind let's move to simulink portion so obviously we will be needing two sources one for message signal and one for carrier frequency so let's create two source from source sine wave one source for message signal and another source for carrier wave from this equation uh, there are some fundamental restrictions uh, which are uh, in with respect to carrier frequency and message signal one is the frequency of the message signal needs to be 50 times at least 50 times uh, lower than that of the carrier wave and then other one is the amplitude of the message signal cannot go higher than that of the carrier wave so if we are that means modulation index this the value of na needs to be less than one and effectively it is in multiplication with the message signal so it is creating the amplitude part of the message wave so let's change the properties let's amplitude it needs to be less than one so let's take it 0 0.5 and let's uh, have a frequency of 10 and then sample time 0 0.01 apply and then ok and for sine wave for creating the carrier wave let's amplitude let it have one amplitude uh, frequency 1000 and sample 0 0.0001 apply and then ok now one needs to be added into the message wave okay let's change it change the name of uh, the sine wave by masses signal and let's change carrier wave Now we need to add a constant value here. So we'll go here and from the con commonly used blocks constant. This constant needs to be added into this. So we need a adder. Uh, let's see. Okay, here it's add. So let's add them together. Simply just connecting wires. And at that point we will need. We will get. 1 plus this now this particular portion needs to be multiply with this so let's have a multiplier product the output of this adder needs to be multiplied with the carrier wave now we we are requiring we need to see the graphs so we need a scope there okay it is a scope so it's done let's run it okay 
this is a oops uh, it is amplitude modulation generated but uh, the wave is we are able to see at the last portion this is the general problem with simlink many times you may have encountered it so there is a, a solution of it go to the settings parameters and go to the history and just deselect this portion limit data points to last and then apply no okay and rerun the model that's it our amplitude wave amplitude modulated wave has been generated so we can do various experiments with it like suppose we want to check what happens if uh, this amplitude is equals to the modulation index equals to 1 let's see let's run it okay it's uh, the case for the 100% modulation and uh, let's increase it apply okay uh, yes this is the case of the over modulation so if you go through the theory of this over modulation case uh, distortions are occurring there and due to this distortion uh, uh, information has been lost completely and this information cannot be recovered back so there is a prime restriction on the modulation index like this modulation index needs to be less than 1 if we want to recover a message signal exactly after the at the receiver end so this is the um, amplitude modulation part uh, suppose uh, in some case uh, we want to check uh, uh, whether they are how to see many signals on the scope at the same time so let's try let's put a mux here and then instead of this put this there and then you will see two different wave this pink one is the message signal yellow one is the carrier wave and so through this way you can plot various waves at the same time so it is very uh, it is very useful to demonstrate at the same time like message information has been encoded into the amplitude portion of the carrier wave so it's cool isn't it so that's it for this video we will come up with more videos in upcoming days thank you